Growing demand for fresh-from-the-farm fruit, eggs, and vegetables has turned the nation into a veritable field of greens. Martha Teichner does a little digging in our Sunday morning cover story. As farmers' markets go, it isn't impressive. One little stall in the lobby of an office building. It's not impressive unless you consider where these vegetables were grown. Look up, way up, just about eye to eye with Drew Barrymore on that billboard. Yes, the roof. This is Brooklyn Grange. It's a 40,000 square foot rooftop farm. It's about an acre. And uh, we're growing um, probably 50, 60, 70 different varieties of vegetables. Ben Flanner and four friends are running a commercial farm here, seven stories off the ground, surrounded by a to-die-for view of the New York skyline. The soil, a million pounds of it, had to be raised a sack at a time by crane. There's, there's thousands and thousands of empty rooftops across New York City, and it just makes sense to do something productive on them. Commercial farms on city rooftops may not be a trend yet, but the growth of farmers' markets in this country definitely is. Made fresh, hot out the oven. Madison, Wisconsin has the nation's biggest farmers' market. Naturally, it sells local cheese. Every region showcases its own specialties, from Portland, Oregon, to here in Portland, Maine. We've got some carrots, uh, some basil, tomatoes, blueberries. Just randomly stopping customers, especially younger ones, what's clear is that shopping at farmers markets isn't just fun, it's serious, part of a socially responsible life. And what does that mean for... He's going to eat well. <laughs> yeah, and he's getting food from, you know, his uh, community. 